So we are fresh off the Democratic National Convention. Hillary Clinton accepted the nomination for president. Yeehaw. Tim Kaine accepted the nomination for VP. So we have two corporate sellout Democrats heading up the Democratic ticket. And now I'm supposed to support it because Trump is the big bad wolf coming to eat your kids. Now that's now one of the huge reasons that they keep repeating over and over and over again to say that we should support Hillary Clinton. That Trump is obviously a xenophobic, racist, borderline fascist who doesn't know the first thing about running a country. And again, don't get me wrong, all of that is completely true. You should not trust that crazed psychopath with the nuclear codes. You should not trust Donald Trump with the country. All right, we understand that, okay? But this is the key point that I want to make in this video. Don't use Donald Trump as a reason to vote for Hillary Clinton. Or in other words, don't be feared into voting for Hillary Clinton. See, it would be different if we had no other options, right? If third parties did not exist, if there really were only two options on the menu, as Bill Maher kept saying in that video of Cornell West. No, 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 no. That's not the case. You have Libertarian Party candidate, Gary Johnson. You have Green Party candidate, Jill Stein, who is arguably more progressive than Bernie Sanders. You have options here. This isn't just a race between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. We have other options. And for me, I've chosen my option, the Green New Deal, <laughs> tuition-free public college, canceling student debt, slashing military spending, single-parent health care, bold and raw progressivism. That's Jill Stein. That's Green Party, okay? Now, if you're a fiscal conservative but liberal on social issues and foreign policy, Gary Johnson might be your guy. He might be the candidate for you. All right, so don't be guilted. Don't be scared into voting for Hillary Clinton. Just because, oh, she's the only one who can stop Trumpzilla. No, 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 that's nonsense. And I'm going to unpack that suitcase later on, okay? But the fact of the matter is, Hillary Clinton voted for the war in Iraq, where hundreds of thousands of innocent people were slaughtered. We ousted Saddam Hussein, therefore allowing this thing called ISIS to come to fruition through a variety of circumstances. Then Hillary Clinton voted for the Patriot Act, where Americans' privacy rights were revoked and Guantanamo Bay was authorized, and so were all the horrors that came with that hellhole. So already, we have a war criminal, when she voted for the disastrous war in Iraq, where thousands, hundreds of thousands of people were slaughtered, then she took a crap on the Constitution by voting for the Patriot Act. Oh yeah, yeah. Then she wants to talk about breaking down the barriers. She supported nearly every horrific free trade deal, which has allowed for the outsourcing of millions of American jobs. As she wants to talk about protecting the environment, she lobbied for the use of fracking all over the world as Secretary of State. As she wants to talk about taking on Wall Street and getting a public option healthcare system, she has taken millions of dollars from the huge banks and insurance companies, even giving $200,000 speeches for those too big to fail banks. Hillary Clinton is atrocious. She's atrocious. I don't trust her with the United States military. She supported reckless regime change in Iraq and Libya, which had so many disastrous consequences. She supports regime change in Syria already. She's a freaking war hawk. Her actions as commander in chief would ultimately make this country less safe. So I'm not supporting that. Yes, Trump is worse. He is worse. He's worse. He said the Geneva Conventions were the problem. Then he doubled down on that. He said he wants to torture people even if it doesn't work. He said he wants to kill the families of ISIS, innocent civilians. He doubled down on that. Trump is a lunatic. I understand that. I get it. Thanks for stating the obvious. But I don't trust Hillary Clinton either on foreign policy and on economic issues thanks to all the corruption and disastrous decisions she's made over the years. Again, I think Trump is worse. But at the end of the day, that really doesn't matter. Because I have other options. <laughs> Jill Stein, Gary Johnson, and since Hillary Clinton is a terrible candidate, and since Donald Trump is a really terrible candidate, I'm not supporting either of them. And I'm going to exercise my right as an American citizen. And I'm going to tell other people not to support either of them.
Yes, if you vote for Jill Stein or Gary Johnson, that's going to be one less vote for Hillary Clinton. Boo freaking who to all the I'm with her people. But the way I see it, that's one less vote for Donald Trump. So what I'm going to do is continue attacking Donald Trump for the crazed man that he is. He's a thin-skinned psychopath. He's a borderline fascist nutcase. And I'm going to repeat that over and over and over again in damn near every video I make. And Jill Stein and Gary Johnson, they should also attack Donald Trump along with Hillary Clinton. Gang up on Trump. Expose him for the lying idiot that he is. And then this is a note specifically for Jill Stein. Target some of Trump's voters. Now, most of them, I will go ahead and give it to you, they've lost their minds. <laughs> Look at the polls of Trump's voters, man. They, they will blow you away. They're insane, all right? But some Trump voters, they're simply marginalized, and they've bought into some of the good things that Trump talks about. Money in politics, uh, free trade deals, social security, and those are the voters who Jill Stein needs to target. All right, those are the same people who loved Bernie Sanders. They, they, they're the ones saying, I'm either going to vote for Bernie or Trump. And they loved him for his authenticity on those issues. And those are the same people who would love Jill Stein as well. So not only would that bring down Donald Trump, but that would catapult Jill Stein's presidential campaign. So bottom line here, just because you support a third party candidate does not mean that you're going to give Donald Trump the election. So don't buy into the BS, man. And don't be feared into voting for Hillary. You don't have to hold your nose and choose the lesser of two evils yet again, man. You don't have to do it. You have other options. So that's why I'm, I'm supporting Jill Stein, but I'm also going to vehemently attack Donald Trump. And I encourage other people to do the exact same. Uh, so keep the progressive revolution going, man. And most importantly, stand by your principles at all costs. All right? That's it. Thank you. <laughs>